going in and getting some other equations here. So we know the net force acting on spring mass system is just Hooke's law. So here's what we get. So mass times acceleration um, is opposite the force because again the, that negative is always there because the force is pulling it back towards equilibrium. And I actually want to express this as A equals negative Kx over M. So this guy is for the acceleration of a spring mass system at a given extension from equilibrium, if you know the spring constant. Okay. Subbing in our, going back to A equals negative omega squared x. cancel out. Negative sign is one of them, and the x is the other. So this is specifically for a spring mass system. Omega is the square root of the spring constant divided by the mass that the, is on the spring. A couple more. Alright, for the spring mass system. energy comes in the form of elastic potential from stretching that spring and then releasing it. Okay? That's uh, where all the energy comes from. You guys remember for a spring what the equation was? One half k times delta x squared. Good. One half kx squared. Good. We're just going to use amplitude instead of x to get the total uh, energy. So that's the total energy stored in the spring mass system. Now at any point, we've got this relationship. We've got the elastic potential energy being transferred or, or changed into kinetic energy as we approach the equilibrium point. At the equilibrium point, there is no elastic potential energy. That's the natural un unstretched length of the spring. So all of that energy becomes kinetic energy at the equilibrium point. Okay, so that's one of the blanks here is kinetic energy. So between negative amplitude to maximum amplitude, that's the relationship. As the um, potential energy goes down, the kinetic energy goes up when we hit the equilibrium point, and then it uh, goes back the other way. So at any point, the total energy is distributed between kinetic and potential.
And all those nice one halves cancel out. I'm sorry about this. this is, I realize how many equations I'm throwing at you right now. But they, they're they all used in this section. They're all used at some point. So you have to have this arsenal, this like backpack full of equations uh, in order to, and you pick out literally the ones that fit for the problem. Like if the problem's a spring mass system, you got to use spring mass equations. And you just, most of them are on your equation sheet. Yeah. We'll, we'll go through next week and we'll highlight which ones are not that you actually have to memorize or at least know how to derive. So we're going to solve this guy for velocity to get the, uh, the velocity at any point. Um, <laughs> I want you guys to tell me what the last substitution I'm going to make is. K over M, root K over M, and what was that, Masu? Omega. Said? Omega. Good. That was our angular velocity again. Square rooted, I believe. Yeah. Uh, let me double check. Final version. So that's for the objects. Shh. That's for the object's velocity at any point at the extension, not at any point in time. So if we simply substitute, if we want to figure out the maximum velocity, that's at the equilibrium point, and that's when the extension is equal to zero. So quite simply by setting um, the extension, the x equal to zero, you get v max. It's just omega times a, because the square root of a squared cancels it out. <coughs> 